Okay, guys, welcome to today's tarot reading. So I thought what I would do is just give you an overview of the week to come. So today's Tuesday when this video goes up, hopefully. So we're going to go from Wednesday to next Tuesday. So the overall arching theme is so wherever you live or whatever you consider part of your community, there's been some message that has come through for you um regarding potentially your significant other or your twin flame or your soulmate or whoever you consider your divine counterpart um which could potentially be an earth sign or someone who is just very stable and secure and reliable and whatever you got a message here about this person and whatever you heard here like really set you back and totally broke your heart and kind of really got you like veered you off of your path because normally um, even if you guys are not together, you consider this person like your happy place and you had all these plans of manifesting, you know, a happy life for you guys and wealth and just this white picket fence life I just heard. And right now you're not in a good spot because we're basically starting from the point of you hearing this message and not doing so well right now. So let's get into it. So Wednesday you're going to be in a very defensive mode. You will have trouble just kind of tapping into your inner knowledge, but this is actually where your journey starts. So a lot of the times we can't start change unless we come from a place of pain. It's not necessary, but if we've been ignoring the signs, especially the spiritual signs for too long, like the universe will do that to us. Okay. So Wednesday, you're going to be in a very defensive mode. Just be careful not to argue with people. And but just know that this is a really good place for you to start your journey because you are the main female here. Um, energies, not genders, please. So then we go on to Thursday, which is kind of where you are starting to realize that you are the main female and that you're the main character in your life but you are going to have some trouble seeing the forest for the trees. Um, you might be slipping into a little bit of depression and just feeling like everything is just not working out for you. You know, all hope is lost. You don't really know where to go from here. And you're going to probably make your life a little bit more difficult than it needs to be. On the other hand, I always say and advocate for feeling your pain because it's important that you do because out of pain, again, we can grow and we can manifest. So just give yourself the grace to do self-care if you need to, okay? Just be kind to yourself and listen to whatever your intuition tells you you need to do. If you just wanna sit on the couch and watch TV all day, go and do that. Like the laundry will be there tomorrow, your kitchen will be there tomorrow. If you just need a time out from kids or pets or whatever is going on with you take that time okay just please do that then we go into friday where you're gonna have an idea sort of of how to get out of this place and you kind of want to go onto your path and really start your new journey and start manifesting your way out of it but that idea that you're gonna have i'm just telling you right now will fail um, and it will fail for a reason. So sometimes rejection is divine protection. And the reason why it fails here is because this is not inspired action that is given to you by the divine. This is something that comes out of your ego. And when we act out of our place of ego, it's not always good for us. It can actually delay our manifestation. It can bring us, you know, pain when it really isn't like necessary, but just know that the divine has your back here, okay? So I know you're gonna be upset about whatever is gonna fall through here, but there's a reason for it. So just trust that it's not worked out for your benefit. Then we go into Saturday, which is basically where you're gonna, you know, sit in this pain, feel in this pain, you know, sit with this rejection, but it's actually gonna cause a rebirth of sorts. So this is where your journey starts going into the right direction and you will have a hard time understanding why the rejection happened right now because you're like okay well this is if this is divine protection like where's the counterpart to that right but you're gonna have to have a little bit of faith and a little bit of patience because it is coming but saturday 
you're literally just meant to sit with this and if you if you are someone who likes to journal i just heard journal it out um otherwise however you i just heard move your body put on music um take a bath so whatever you feel can help you relieve some of that anxiety and that stress just go and do it take time for yourself yet again like next week will really be about you taking time for yourself because if we come into sunday you will be getting a message from someone that will cause you a little bit of concern um, because you're almost like you're starting to go a little bit up and then you're going to go a little bit down again due to this message. But the message that you're going to be getting is going to put you into hermit mode. And the beauty about hermit mode is, yes, we retreat. And yes, we take time to ourselves and we might be ghosting people and just not really available, which is OK. That's fine sometimes. But the beauty about the hermit here is, is that he is a guiding light for you. Okay, so basically he's starting to show you the path while you're sitting in hiding, waiting for a sign to kind of lead you to where you need to go. And that message will come to you in silence. So not the message of concern that you're worried about, but the message that will kind of lead you out of hermit mode, which could be a spiritual download, it could be a sign, it could be something you see on TV, something you hear in music, like whatever it is that you would consider is a divine message that cannot be a coincidence, like you're going to know intuitively, you're going to know you're not going to have to ask anybody else for advice about this. This is just something that will come to you and you'll immediately recognize it. Even maybe I just heard a sign from an ancestor that has passed that will mean something to you. OK, then we're going to go into Monday and Monday you're going to be getting a message about uh, your work situation or a situation that is uh, tied here to all of this your entire journey that has just caused you a lot of pain and a lot of trouble and just a lot of i don't really know how to put it like it's it's been a burden to you um and you're going to hear something about this situation because when we come into tuesday what you're actually going to do is you're going to have a spark like an idea and you're going to be able to use all of your skills and all of your craft and you're going to be able to manifest your way out of this situation this is where your manifestation journey with this particular topic starts and you're going to use whatever is like um hey whatever is special to you and what makes you you what is unique to you you're going to be able to use those gifts here to i just heard bring why oh my god i just heard mulan like bring honor to your family i don't know why this is relevant here if this is relevant for you you're gonna know but basically you're gonna step out of this place of slaving away for someone else and not getting recognized and you're gonna start this whole new journey of just blooming out of this place and getting into a much better place yeah and your counterpart here um so with the overarching theme so i feel like this is like everything in your life is going to change here your love life is going to change your work life is going to change just you as a person is going to change but your counterpart here they're gonna hear about whatever you heard here and they're gonna go into defensive mode as well over you and be very protective over you and they're gonna show up in a very logical and a very grounded place to support you on your journey here where before they might have been stable but i don't think they were the most supportive like they definitely could have done better but whatever has caused you heartbreak here they're gonna be here for you through this which i think is beautiful and you guys are gonna have a beautiful life here like this is gonna come in for you in a really really beautiful way and you're almost there like we got the nine of cups which is literally right before ultimate fulfillment so you are gonna get there you're just gonna have to yeah so this is probably gossip of some sort you're just have to gonna stick it out because at the end of the day your divine counterpart wants marriage and like something really really stable and traditional here with you um but you're going to have to go through this pain in order to find your own strength and in order to also show your counterpart that you can do this. You don't need them, but you want them, which is going to make them show up in their most in their best version. OK, I really hope this helped you guys. Um, and if you have any questions, make sure you leave a comment. Otherwise, I hope you have a wonderful week and I'll probably see you in my next video whenever that will be uploaded because I'm taking a break myself right now. <laughs> but. I'll see you in the next video.